What you're ultimately going to do today is that you're going to register your student classes. And when you walk out that door, you're going to turn in a sheet and your student will be registered for classes for this fall. Okay, good. Now, you have a packet in your hand. Okay? Now, some of you did not have a packet because you may be coming from another school. That's okay. You have the most important stuff in your hand. So, in everybody's packet, you have a curriculum guide and a blue sheet. The blue sheet is what we're going to turn in when we walk out the door today. Okay? That is our goal. You with me? Also, in your packet, you could have an enrollment sheet. I don't have to have that enrollment sheet today. You can turn that back in at the entrance as the entrance you just came in, in a, at that black box, color drop box, anytime you want to. It's going to sit there all summer long for people to put stuff in. Okay, so we don't have all this contact all the time. Okay, don't have to do it today. Okay. You also will have a recommendation page. On that page, you'll see recommendations for English, math, and probably history. Again, those are just recommendations based on data, tests your student has taken over the years in school. I want you to understand, you're the adult. If you want your student to take another class besides what's recommended there, that's your right to do that. Okay? That is just what we feel is best or what the data shows is best for your student. That doesn't mean we don't know your student's heart and capability like you do. So in some cases, you may want your student in English honors, but you know they, it's going to be tough, it's going to be rigorous, it's going to be a lot of writing and reading. And if you're fine with that, that's okay. Okay? Everybody good? All right. And this, by the way, Miss Mary Rose Brantley right here, in purple, math teacher. And Miss Kate Sneed back in the green back there is a, a biology teacher as well that you could have. Master Chief, if you come on down. And Master Chief is going to talk to you just a little bit about NJROTC. We are a four-year program. Uh, we are a focus area. It's called Leadership and Government. That's what will be under in your little booklet. Uh, you do two years of ROTC. You get your PE and health wellness credits taken care of. Three years, you get your personal finance and citizens, uh, government uh, credits taken care of. We are also certified to give the required to graduate personal finance test and civics test. We take care of a whole lot of different things at once. We have academic teams, we have drill teams, we have marksmanship teams, drill rifles. We do color guard, we do fundraise, we do community service. Once a year, we take a trip somewhere. This year it didn't happen. Uh, it was supposed to be Jacksonville, Florida. Next year, we're going to take them, assuming everything works out, to New Orleans. And we'll take them to some military bases, the World War II uh, History Museum down there, which is awesome, and a few other places. Uh, we give them their uniforms. Uh, the nice thing about our program, we are not recruiters. Um, when they graduate high school, they are not obligated to go to the military. We just want them to leave. Okay? Um, it doesn't cost anything. Okay? We do we run the concession staff at the football game. That's our fundraisers. Now, to trade off it, you got to help. Okay? You want to go places, you got to help make the money. But it is no money out of your pocket. I want to say we're the only program in Murray County public schools that can do that, as long as we do the fundraising. Okay? Uh, I like keeping it short and sweet and let her explain a lot. Anybody have any questions? Four years from this month, in May of 2024, we want to hand your student a diploma. But they've got to have 22 credits. So this begins that journey. Now, they, can't have, they can have 24 credits or 28 credits, but if they don't pass English 1, then there's no diploma. Okay? So you've got four years to get 22 of the right courses completed. Everybody good? Awesome? All right. Blue sheet. Let's go to the blue sheet. We're going to start at the top, and we're going to work our way all the way to the bottom. And we're going to go step by step. We have all these teachers and uh, counselors in here to help you through this entire process. Please ask a question. Okay? If you have a question, just ask. Just raise your, raise your hand. Magic number for today is eight. Eight is your magic number. You want it before it's over with, we're going to bubble eight bubbles. Okay? All right, here we go. 
So at the top, let me have your student's first name, the preferred name, the last name, a student cell number, and the school they last attended, whatever school that may be. If y'all will go ahead and complete that part. So this section that we're about to go to next are required courses. Your student has to have these courses in order to graduate in four years. So let's start with English. You have a decision to make. Use your recommendation page that's in front of you or use what you know about your students. You've got to choose between English 1 and English 1 Honors. Now English 1 Honors, you are going to get three additional points. It is going to be more rigorous. You are going to have more reading and writing. And you will read two books this summer and take tests when you return back to Central High School in the fall or spring. Okay? Everybody good? Those books are in the curriculum guide, the two books that are required uh, to be read this summer. If you don't go into honors, you're just into English, there is required reading during the school year, but not during the summer. Everybody good? Go ahead and make your decision. Bubble either English 1 or English 1 honors. Okay, so the magic number was 8, correct? We just used the bubble. So we got seven bubbles to go. One bubble day. One bubble, one bubble day. You ready? All right. Now, again, I've said this six times already. This is the difficult part. The math part is difficult. Okay? First of all, every single one of you in here, whether you like it or not, are going to take math the entire year. Part of that is you just missed eight, nine weeks of math. You're not the only ones. Everybody across the country missed eight or nine weeks of math. Some even more than that. So we want to make sure we can get you caught up and get you to the point where you can still be successful. And to do that, we think being in math all year long is going to help that. Now I'm going to break this down as simple as I can. If you were in Algebra 1 at Whitthorne or Cox or Spring Hill Middle or wherever, in Algebra 1, I need your hands up. I got one Algebra 1 here. Is this gentleman the only gentleman? Only gentleman in Algebra 1 at Whitthorne Cox got two. No? No, just Algebra 1. Okay, to so this gentleman, you have a decision to make, your household does. You either take the Algebra credit at Whitthorne or you don't. Or Cox or wherever it is. Okay, Whitthorne or Cox, you with me? So if you're going to take the credit at Whitthorne or Cox, then you need to sign up for General Drivers. You with me? Now, if you don't take the credit, if you don't take the credit, we're going to recommend that he, she goes to Algebra 1 Honors slash Young. That's the middle one. That's the middle one, okay? It's got to have two bubbles, so there's a bubble missing. You see what I'm saying? So make sure you have two bubbles. Good? All right? Now, everybody else, I'm assuming, was in 8th grade math or 8th grade math honors. Is that correct? So now you have a decision to make. Based on your recommendation uh, sheet of paper that you have in front of you, you have to determine if we're just going to take Algebra 1 all year long, okay? Or do you have the kind of student that can take Algebra 1 honors in the fall and take Geometry in the spring? Now, understand that every single one of you have two bubbles. Algebra 1 Part 1 and 2 is two bubbles. Algebra 1 honors slash... Geometry is two bubbles, and then geometry honors is two bubbles. Okay? Go ahead and make the decision now. Now, as Miss Beth has told me, because I'm not a math person, you should have three bubbles. If you've got any more than that or less than that, we, we have a problem. Okay? So you should only have three bubbles right now. Everybody good? See, you hit that curveball better than Michael Jordan could hit that curveball. Very good. Okay, you ready? Right, here we go to the next slide. Biology is required. Freshmen take it there, obviously they're not great right here. It's one of the three sciences they must have. So this is a required course for them to graduate. You have a choice. Biology one or biology honors. Same thing. Now there's not a recommendation in front of you. But again, a lot of it can be what you know about your child or what your what your student will be able to, how they'll be able to perform. Keep in mind, biology honors will get the three points and be more rigorous than biology. Okay? So please make that decision now. 
So we started with eight, needing eight bubbles, right? Now we use four bubbles. So we should have, Miss Mary Rose, four bubbles left, correct? We got four bubbles to go. So we, but we're getting to the area where we're going to have to start making some big decisions. Okay? And it starts now. So you have SDCs and APs. What does all that mean? Okay, so here's what it means. Your student is required to have three social studies credits by the time they graduate. They're going to get one their freshman year. It's going to be in world history or AP human geography. You with me so far? Okay. So they're going to take one or the other. SDC or state dual credit is a your first chance as a student to earn a college credit. Yes, a college credit that can be used only in the state of Tennessee. So we're not going to carry it down to the University of Alabama and use it down there. We're going to only use it in the state of Tennessee. The test is free. It is developed by professors, and it's a very difficult test. Okay, just to be honest. Now, throughout the semester, our teachers have been trained. You'll be taking tests, reading assignments, and homework, and so forth, preparing for it. But whatever you make on that test does not dictate your grade. Okay, it is a tougher course. There's no doubt. That's part of earning an EPSA. Okay, that early post-secondary opportunity. Because this is a chance for you to earn a college credit. First chance. All right, now, so you don't want to take that. You could take AP Human Geography. It's advanced placement. It is a college class. Our teachers are trained or have been trained. They will go from August to May, so they will earn two credits, one in the fall, one in the spring. There is a test cost. It's $98. Students must score either a three, four, or five in order to earn that credit, excuse me, the college credit. But the credit can be used anywhere in the country. You could go to California and use that credit. Again, making a three, four, or five, and or passing the state dual credit test saves you, the parent, four, five, six hundred dollars before they get into college. Okay? Now, our mistake, you'll see AP Human Geography, it should have two bubbles daily. There should be two circles. We left a circle out. So at this time, you're going to choose state dual credit, which is one bubble, or you're going to choose AP Human Geography, which is two bubbles. Okay? Go ahead and make your decision. You should have now, look at your blue sheet, you should have five bubbles or six bubbles. You should have either one. Everybody good? If you've got any more than that or less than five, again, we need to talk. Everybody good? Yes. Awesome. So here's the last required subject actually for your student their freshman year. You got to have a credit and a half of PE or wellness to graduate. You're going to pick up the first credit this year. The other half can come throughout your high school career. If you play football, you can earn a half credit. If you're a uh, uh, in a bowl, you can earn a half credit, or you can take a half credit course in. There's lots of ways to earn that half credit. Or you go the NJRTC route, which covers that lifetime bonus, and you can earn two credits in that course, or two bubbles, this school year. It runs all year long. Okay? So now you need to choose either one bubble for lifetime wellness, or two bubbles for NJRTC. Go ahead and choose. Now, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but here's what I know right now. We got a mixed bag of everything in here. We got people with six bubbles, we got people with seven bubbles, and we got people possibly with eight bubbles. Okay? So now we go to the next section. This is the fun section. This is the section your student ought to be excited about because this is what they get to choose to do. This begins a time in their life that they they may enjoy doing something. It may not end up, they may not end up doing it in career or college or whatever it may be, but they just may enjoy doing something. You may have a student that loves cosmetology, loves to do hair and nails and all that good stuff. There's money to be made of. So they can take cosmetology one, two, and three, and that would meet what is called their focus area because every student in here 
has to have a focus area for their brain. Or they may be into, um, they may want to be a police. They may want to work for the Secret Service. They may want to be a lawyer. Well, that's criminal justice. Criminal justice one, two, and three. They may want to be a band. That could be their final. So there's lots of things they can do. So here's what I need you to do. If you got eight bubbles, you need to sit back and just relax a minute. Okay? If you have seven bubbles, you pick one class. One class. That will give you eight. If you have six bubbles, you pick two classes. That will give you eight. So by the time everybody's through in this section, we all should have eight bubbles. Okay, go ahead and make your decision. Remember, you got the curriculum guide in your hand to look at some of the courses that we have. So at this point, we should have eight bubbles. Now here's the curve ball. Now that you've signed up for those two electives or one elective, let's say, as an example, that that class is packed, and I keep putting more students in that, in that classroom. So you need a backup. If I understand, you need another option. So down at the bottom, you will see first choice and second choice. So let's say that one of those courses in that big box does not make. You cannot get in that class. You are bubbling your first choice. Don't bubble in. I mean, don't write in what you bubble. Because you're telling us the bubble is what you want. The first choice is if you don't get the bubble. Okay? So go ahead and write your first choice and your second choice from the list that you see there as backups in case something doesn't matter. Turn to the very last page of your curriculum guide. It's page 15. There's some dates on there. We're going to focus on July the 9th because we're going to do you parents a favor. We're going to, we're going to have student or freshman orientation from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock on July the 9th. So they're going to come to us and be with us during that time frame. You'll drop them off at the den entrance, make sure they're wearing clothes, okay? The dress code is there, but if they want to wear shorts, that's fine, but let's, let's dress them appropriately. And we're going to keep them for five hours. But you're going to be back in here at 6 o'clock that same day, and we're going to go over how Central High School does things. How we eat, how we bus ramp, how we you know check out, all of our schedules. Then at seven o'clock, we will give you your hopefully we'll give you your child's schedule. That will be a very important time because you'll get the schedule, you'll look at it, and you're gonna say, Mr. White, I didn't sign up for a D human jar. Well, you know what? You did. We made a mistake, we will correct it. Oh, Mr. White, I didn't sign up for a D human jar. Yes, you did. Here's your sheet. You're going to stay in there. Got it? Or July the 9th, you say, why not coming out of the English one honors because I'm not reading the books? Sorry, you're going to read the books. Got it? Because you've signed up for it. We have a big schedule to make. It's a very complicated schedule. So we need to have things finalized, especially in the situation we're in. 